Now, the hunt is on for new British Paralympic talent to compete in Rio in four years' time. The British Paralympic Association is holding its first sports fest next month. That's a major two-day festival which aims to pinpoint the stars of the future as well as encourage disabled people to try out new events. One of the heroes of London 2012, gold medalist Johnny Peacock, will be there. He met our reporter, Jordan Jarrett Bryan, also an amputee, earlier this week. Johnny Peacock in the lead, and Johnny Peacock's going to win the gold. It's gold for Great Britain! Well, I crossed the line and I, everything came out and I thought I'd won, but then for the split second I thought, wait a minute, have I actually won? He had won. A new Paralympic star was born. Johnny Peacock claimed gold in the T44 100 metres. Ten seconds that changed his life. Fancy having your name sucked by that many people. This week, Johnny had the impossible task of getting okay, me track ready. But I wanted to know what was going through his mind in the Olympic Stadium with 80,000 people screaming his name. I get down, try and be low. So at this point in the race, when you're lined up, what are you actually thinking? What's going through your mind? What's, Just what's the mentality? Keep my head low and keep my chin in my chest. So that's all I was thinking about in the final. Despite winning, he reveals that with half the race still to run, his nerves got the better of him. One thing I've been working on this year is, is top speed. So, you know, when we're about here, 60 metres, yeah. it's just about trying to stay relaxed, which I didn't do in the final, okay. <laughs> which I tensed up, you know. Um, but it's all about trying to be relaxed, um, trying to keep my core strong, because being a single leg amputee, like you, different things going through the different sides of the body, it tends to rock you. Yeah. So I'm kind of like trying to hitch at the hip to try and pull my right leg through, which kind of arches me back a bit. What was the first emotion you felt once you knew you'd won that race? It's relief, I think. Yeah. Relief, because in the back of my mind, although I wasn't, I'd said it to a few people, I knew that it really, it, I really should have won it. Johnny contracted meningitis at age five, resulting in his right leg being amputated. Things were difficult at school, but he never allowed his disability to stop him taking part in sports. Now an ambassador for the British Paralympic Association, he'll be at Sports Fest next month, an open day for disabled people to try Paralympic sports. So if you've ever tried to sit in volleyball before or wheelchair basketball, you know, just come down and give it a go. Yeah. But, you know, it's fantastic to actually hopefully get some new people and new fresh blood in, involved in the sport. You know, like, like you said, that's how I got involved myself. I was down in Mile End um, doing something very similar, Talent Day, and that's how I got spotted from there. Aptly named Rio is one of those youngsters Johnny is talking about. Ahead of Sports Fest, this four-year-old amputee has already been inspired by his Paralympic hero. <laughs> you alright? How you doing? Nice to meet you. So Rio, how excited are you about meeting your hero Johnny Peacock? Very excited. <laughs> Very excited? Did you watch him during the Paralympics? Yeah. And what did you think of him? He was the best. He was the best. <laughs> he was the best. And what do you want to do when you're a big boy? I want to grow up. You want to grow up? <laughs> that would be a good start. Yeah. You want to go? Go. With the Paralympics four years away, athletes like Johnny Peacock are doing their bit to excite the next generation with the future looking very bright for Rio and beyond. And you can find details of how to register to go along and take part in Sports Fest on our website, channel4.com news.